Also now at 11, a major twist in the case of an airplane mechanic who'd been missing since last month. Tonight, we know he's been found dead. From kidnapping to murder for higher accusations, the details sound like something out of an episode of Dateline. This is where prosecutors say the body of the 36-year-old was found. A woody area in the Everglades. And tonight, three men are in custody, and one of those suspects even shared the victim's missing flyer on social media. Kim Wen sat down with the family when the mechanic was first reported missing. She joins us live from Fort Lauderdale tonight with the dark and deadly twist. Kim. Yeah, that's right. Like you mentioned, I sat down with the victim's mother and sister back in November when this all first happened. At that time, they did not know what was going on. They were pleading for help and pleading for answers. Tonight, we know more about the sudden disappearance. Family photos show 36-year-old Seren Sital smiling, known to those who loved him as a social butterfly. I sat down with his mother and sister back in November when he was first reported missing after family members say he didn't come home from work and wasn't answering calls. This is out of character for him. He cannot go one day without communicating with someone. They remained hopeful despite having no answers. We are hopeful. We're prayerful. We're, we're really trying to be positive here. We're hoping hoping for the best. Weeks later, a tragic update. Federal authorities saying Seatal was kidnapped and murdered, and three men have been charged for his death. 24-year-old Avin Sitaram, 29-year-old Samjit Christopher Singh, and 18-year-old Gavin Hunter. All three face several charges, including murder for hire and kidnapping. One of the suspects arrested, Avin Sitaram, posted a flyer on his Facebook page about Sital's disappearance. Sital was last seen alive after leaving work at Fort Lauderdale Executive Airport November 2nd. Family says he worked as an airplane mechanic there, as well as at Opalaka Airport. Family members did everything they could to get answers, from holding prayer vigils to posting flyers to offering a $25,000 reward. Authorities say his body was recovered days later on November 21st at Big Cypress Reservation. And the suspects are also being charged with obstruction of justice. No word yet on what may have led up to all of this. For now, we're reporting live from Fort Lauderdale. Kim Wynn, NBC6 